Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the support that you always offer to this channel. Now, yesterday, Kalonzo Musyoka came out and accuses Kenya Kwanza administration. After the NADCO report hit the rock, and according to Kalonzo Musyoka, he's saying that President Ruto, together with his team, are now on another world after they are dis disagreed on the NADCO report which we saw happening in our country on about the election auditing and so many things and so on and so on. And in fact, Kalonzo Msioka, Jeremiah Kioni, Opio Wandai went even to the state house to implement this and President Ruto was in the state house and they all spoke. But yesterday we saw Kalonzo Msioka come out in publicly and it was a kind of is regretting on his effort to support this NADCO report. And what I have observed is that President Ruto is the one who was behind this gameplay. But we saw Eugene Wamalwa was outside and Eugene Wamalwa even refuses to make a signature on this NADCO report. And uh, what have amazed me on Eugene Wamalwa's side, ladies and gentlemen, as I am just displaying the tweet from Eugene Wamalwa, is saying, I stated before when I declined to open my signature on the NADCO report. And I believe, I believe my fears are being confirmed that the bomber stock lacked good faith in being sure as the Kenya Kwanzaa team did not come to the dialogue table with the clean hands but was hiding dangerous card underlined dangerous card under the table one of which was to reject as a mere proposal and lowering the high taxes and cost of living Eugene Wamalwa is carrying on by saying because they intended subsequently to increase taxes as they are doing and the second and most dangerous is to block the audit of the 2022 election and an unilaterally reconstitute IBC following Justice Thunder's ruling after delaying in Parliament as is happening in JLAC and delaying in the courts the implementation of the NADCO report as is happening now which we suspect is state sponsored <laughs> my brother at Kalonzo Msioka and I have today while condoling, uh, condoling with the family sorry of Priscilla Mbuka in Zuni village Zombo Ward in Lunga Lunga sub county, Kwale County, who succumbed to cancer, cautioned our friends in Kenya Kwanza to engage in dangerous games by playing the dangerous cards they were hiding under the table. And in the process test, the passion of Kenyans. And in the process test, the patience of Kenyans. That is the remarks which comes from Eugene Wamalo. So it means that President Trudeau realized that this NADCO report, the one who was interested on it, was none other than on Stephen Kalonzo Msioka. As he tried his best to push Raila to AU job, because he knew that Raila was a threat, in any case this deal could have backfired. Let's take a look and listen to how Kalonzo was responding to this. and. William Samuel Ruto, how he welcomed the NADCO report. Bande ya watu ufanya juhudi kuleta inchi pamoja. Bado kuna hali ya kutuaminiana, kuna hali ya kuaribu makubaliano ambayo ilichukua muda na wakati mwingi, fikra nyingi 
The Wiper Party boss said the move is deliberate and meant to go against the agreement made at the bombers of Kenya, accusing the government side of lack of goodwill. It appears to us it's a deliberate scheme to go against what was agreed at bombers. This can only mean that our friends on the other side never had the goodwill and the faith. The High Court in Kiambu granted orders seeking to bar the National Assembly and the Senate from proceeding with the proceedings of debating and adopting the NADCO report pending hearing and determination of a case filed by activist Michael Mushemi. Sasa tunasikia ile issue kubwa kapisa, electoral justice, kufungua sava na kufanya audit ya kura iliopita. Hiyo ndio sasa wameenda mahakamani kusimamisha. Hiyo ndio mambo sasa itafanya hii report isipotekelezwa ile uamuzi wa court wa kwanza ambayo pia tunaamini was sponsored by them ile kamati iendelee bila kuturusisha sisi. Haya ndio mambo leo tunataka tuambie wenzetu we suspect ya kwamba what has been done is state sponsored. Azimio now warns President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga to take charge of the process to avoid the NADCO process being thrown into headwinds. Asking both uh, William Ruto and Raila Odinga to stand up and stamp the authority on what you agree. Sisa tuja zoya kutumiwa kiovi ovio, kumesaidia ingi jirani, South Sudan, Somalia, and Pindimeko, and we have managed to have those nations come to peace and be able to live peaceably. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV. Now well on course to implementing it. Let me also take this opportunity to commend our former Prime Minister, the Honorable Raila Odinga, for the decision that we jointly made to make sure that we take the country on this path, the path of peace, of dialogue, consultation, conversation, that is what defines Kenya. Kenya is a country that is very well known and we have credentials as a country, as believers in democracy and that we can always use democratic means to resolve whatever issues that arise. On the issue of um, the IEBC, we have convergence of proposals and we now have a joint proposal with our bill in Parliament. We also uh, have agreed on the issues of the other proposal that already in Parliament with a bill is ESCC. I hope you included uh, Mambo Matatu. <laughs> Again, uh, let me also uh, congratulate you on finding an agreement on the constitutional provision that will make NGCDF a, a constitutional um, uh, imperative, so to speak. The oversight fund that uh, the Senate uh, will access and also NGAF that will be uh, available to our women members of parliament. I am sure Wambilianga and uh, my sister here, Amina, will be happy when we finally make that uh, GAF a, a, a constitution. Before I carry on with more analysis, ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much for the support that you always offer to this channel. And if this might be your first time watching me as I'm Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you kindly do me a favor, take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you've subscribed to our channel, like this video, watch share and give us your opinion and to the members 
I want to appreciate you so much for the support that you offer to this channel. Kindly don't forget to give this video a thumb of like. Let's proceed. So there is someone who is being played here. And according to Eugene Wamalwa, he's saying Kalonzo is the one who is being played. I said it two months ago, uh, two weeks ago, when uh, Eugene Wamalwa uh, refuses to go to State House, as Opia Wandai, Jeremiah Kioni, and Kalonzo Msioka went to State House and they agreed on the NADCO report. What I know at the back of my mind is that President Ruto is just buying time. The reason why he is buying time is because when Raila Dinga was making uh, demos every now and then, he was having no time even to deliver promises to Kenya. And could this be the main reason why Ruto is now going against the NARCO report? And as things are now happening, and as things have fall apart, there's total shame we are seeing how you have played Karonzo Msioka and the Azimio coalition regime. So there's no way Rael Odinga can come in <laughs> and uh, say, uh, what next? on this NATCO report which have failed. Even the other courts have gone against it. So, and I say that it is going to, to be the first history to be made in our country that the servers to be open, which cannot be, cannot happen in our country. Because they knew very well that Wafula Chebukati rigged President Ruto in the election 2022 as have been said even by Eugene Wamalo. So Ruto knew that Kalonzo Msioka is weak and him and Raila, it was a kind of game they played Kalonzo Msioka because Kalonzo Msioka, Msioka was having a threat also to Raila Odinga. So the best option was to come out with this NADCO report to convince Kalonzo Msioka together with this team. What is now happening today? It has been the deal has been backfired and President Ruto is now happy, but on the other side, Kalonzo Msioka is now regretting. And you've listened to Kalonzo Msioka as he is campaigning. You have realized that the now the best hope on him, in him, sorry, is to go back to the ballot, whether Kenyans like it or not, to fight President Ruto, which is not going to ma manage because Ruto is going to come out with another tactics to ensure that Kalonzo Msioka is going to uh, to be defeated in 2027. And as you've seen, they have played their cards together with Kimani Chungwa, Dini Nyoro and the rest. That is how they are going to outsmart any person who is going to buy presidential candidate. In the Republic of Kenya when it's come to 2027. So this is total shame and my major confidence on this is that President Ruto knew it and is the one who planned this in order to avoid too much demos which was happening in our country, in order to do whatever he wanted to do as this mission is now coming to be accomplished. And Kalonzo plus the rest have been left stranded. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the game of politics we are now experiencing in our country. What can you say on this total shame which have been now done to Azimio coalition by Kenya Kwanza administration? Thank you very much and bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion. Kindly don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. Bye-bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion.